sexier guys. Wow. <clears throat> Hi guys, let me show you how I'm gonna prepare my drumsticks here. Here's about 10 to 12 drumsticks that I'm using to fry this garlic fried drumsticks. Okay, as you can see, the drumsticks look like this. I want to like cut it to open up a little bit of the meat so that it will be easier to fry. And also when you coat uh, the flour, it will, and when you deep fry it, it will become much bigger compared to just uh, coating the drumstick like this. So I'm gonna try to cut it from the meat area over here just to open it up. I don't want to destroy the chicken drumstick skin as well. We need to keep this on. You can, you can use a pair of, of scissors as well. Just gonna open it up right over there and then to the bone. Just gonna slice it through like that. It's like chicken lollipops, guys. So you can see. So I just gave it a quick slice over in the center over there on top of the chicken drumstick, all the way to the center of the bone of the chicken drumstick. So. When you, when you uh, marinate this and you coat it, it will become uh, thicker, crispier chicken fried uh, garlic fried drumsticks, guys. So just do this for the rest of all the drumsticks here. already just give this a quick rinse in the in water and then I'll show you guys how to marinate this okay guys I've got my chicken drumsticks here let's see now into our bowl check that out okay first we're gonna add in one teaspoon of uh, salt if you like more saltiness, you can add in more salt. Next, we're going to sprinkle some white pepper. Okay, that's enough. Okay, next we're going to add in uh, one tablespoon of sugar. Because here there's a lot of drumsticks here, so it depends. If you're making a few drumsticks, just add a little bit of sugar. Okay, we're gonna add in uh, one teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. Okay, I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of uh, crushed garlic here. You can just add in one. A tablespoon if you don't like it too garlicky, but I like my garlic, so I'm adding in two tablespoons. Okay, second tablespoon. Oh yeah guys, before the video continues, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks guys. Okay guys, next I've got some oyster sauce. I'm just going to drizzle all around. Okay, that's enough. Next, I got some light soy sauce. Also, drizzle all around. Drizzle some sesame oil also all around. We're gonna drizzle some olive oil. And here, I got some Chinese rice wine. If you don't have Chinese rice wine, you can add in brandy or whiskey. It's up to you. It's still good. Okay guys, so put on a glove and let's give these drumsticks a good mix. Over here. 
Make sure each chicken piece has some flavor. So give a good, good uh, rub, chicken rub, chicken drumstick rub. You see all that garlic? Yeah. You want all that garlic to stick into the chicken. That's why we have to slip the, the chicken drumstick so that the inside of the drumstick has a flavor as well. If you don't cut the drumstick, all the flavor will just be outside of the chicken drumstick and yeah, it, you won't taste that garlic uh, flavor. Okay, looks like all the pieces uh, have some flavor on. Now we're gonna crack one egg. Okay, let's crack the egg. There we go, one egg. Now we're gonna add in a few heaped teaspoons of cornstarch. Let's add in one. It depends on how much liquid is in your bowl, so I'll let you guys know now now. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna add in uh, three heaped teaspoons of cornstarch first. Just let's give this a mix and then we'll see if we need more. Okay guys, let's uh, mix this up here. Mix that egg into that cornstarch. We try to create like a thick batter so that uh, when we coat it with flour, the flour will stick onto the, the chicken drumsticks to form a, a friable coating when we, when we deep fry these uh, chicken drumsticks. You don't want the, the saucy batter over here to be too loose or else the flour won't stick onto the chicken drumsticks. Okay, if you can see, it's still runny guys, can you see this? We don't want that, we want it to flow, uh, we want the batter to flow down slowly so you can see we need to add more cornstarch, maybe add one more spoon. Okay guys, so I added uh, two more spoons, so it's a total of five uh, spoons of cornstarch. Let's mix this up. The cornstarch will uh, create a very crispy crust on the chicken drumsticks, guys. Okay, the batter is looking good. Smooth. You can see that the batter is getting smooth. Let me show you the batter. You can see it's, it's dripping a bit slowly here. Yeah, this is what this is what we're looking for, guys. Check. Okay, we will let this marinate for about two to three hours. Then we will deep fry these. Okay, guys. So I marinated my chicken for about an hour now because it's getting dark we need to fry some chicken now so first i'm gonna sh i'm gonna show you guys how to coat them i'm first gonna coat them and then we will deep fry them okay, i'm first gonna add in some all-purpose flour give it a good amount then i'm gonna add in one uh, heap teaspoon of cornstarch if you add too much cornstarch, it will become too crispy. But we know that the marinade, we already added a lot of cornstarch already. Okay, I'm just gonna get a whisk. Give this a quick whisk. Okay, now the chicken, just give it a quick mix here. Okay, now we're gonna put in the, each piece of drumstick. Make sure you put it in the flour when it's white so that it will have a good coating. Just coat each piece nicely. The flour, make sure it's dry. Make sure the whole chicken drumstick is coated nicely. Okay, as you can see, I'll just dust it off. Dust off the flour. And then, in your bowl, you just gotta place it nicely. Just let it rest like this in your bowl. Just on your chicken drumstick, just dip it into the wet batter so that we can we can uh, stick all the flour onto the drumstick here. Just to make sure that it's fully covered nicely with that flour, because we want some delicious crispy 
drumsticks here. Give the chicken drumstick a good squeeze as well in the flour. When you squeeze it, uh, it will stick better, the flour. So yeah guys, so I'm gonna just do this for the rest of the drumsticks and then we will deep fry it. Okay guys, this took a little bit of my time, about 10 to 15 minutes. Can you check that out? I made sure I coat I coat each piece of drumstick individually nicely and make sure the insides of the skin and the cut up part is also coated with the flour guys so if your flour was getting a bit uh, sticky and all that stuff just add more flour and combine and make sure each piece is covered nicely if you want to have some delicious fried chicken drumsticks it will take you some time but if you do this properly, I guarantee you, this is better than KFC, guys. Okay, let's go and deep fry these. Okay guys, so here's the fried chicken. I'm first going to form the crust. So I'm just gonna fry a few pieces at a time for about uh, one to two minutes until it forms a little soft, uh, medium soft uh, crust. Then I'll lift it out. And then afterwards, when all the pieces are done, uh, I'll dump in all the chicken together, then we'll know the exact cooking time for all of them. And they'll all be cooked at the same rate. Pieces, slowly. I'll move the chicken around, let it form its crust. Okay, it formed a good crust as you can see. You just lift, lift these out and put in the rest of the chicken. Just lift it out slowly. Place our other pieces of chicken here. Right. Looking good. Okay guys, you can see the pieces looking like this. Looking nice. These are just fried for like two minutes just to form a little crust. And then yeah, we'll do this procedure for all of them and then we'll dump it all in. Then we will start timing the to fry the chicken for about 10 minutes. Okay guys, so all the chicken has been fried for a few minutes. Now it's time for the second fry. Check at that. Wow. Okay, now I preheated the oil. It's very, it's on high heat. And now I'm gonna, just gonna place in all the chicken. Time to make some crispy chicken here. So I'm also gonna fry in little batches because I can see my little wok over here comes with all of them. Pull it a bit off the base will turn. So I'm frying this at high heat now to make this very crispy for about 10 minutes. Maybe 7 to 10 minutes. Okay guys, our second batch is ready. Let's start. and crispy and well it cooked okay guys let's fry our last final batch Oh, 
Maybe garlic fried chicken wings. No chicken, garlic fried uh, drumsticks here, guys. Wow. Check that out. Garlic fried drumsticks guys, give this recipe a try. Damn, the coating looks almost like KFC. Wow. Yummy. Let's give this a try guys. Yum. Okay guys, check out my fried chicken. Check that out. Wow. Wow, look at it. So beautiful and tasty. Give this recipe a try guys, so simple and easy to make. Check at that. Okay guys, let me just give my fried chicken a taste. Check at that. Wow. Wow. Just give this a bite. Hmm. Damn. So crispy. So much garlic flavor, guys. Give this a try and give this video a like, guys. So tasty and easy to make. Hear the crunch. Hear this. Check out that. Well, we fried. For about five to seven minutes, guys, fry. Take another good bite. Hmm.